Hello, today I want to talk about the deeply important science and art of midwifery. Midwifery has traditionally meant with woman, but in the context of modern society, a midwife is a healthcare professional who provides care during conception, pregnancy, birth, the, post the postnatal period, and gynecological care. In most conversations about midwifery, one woman's name reappears often, and that is Ina Mae Gaskin. She is considered to have revitalized the practice of midwifery and has an astounding health record and safety record despite her unconventional methods. Gaskin started her career as a birth worker in the 1970s when it was common practice to use epidurals without consent, use unnecessary interventions, as well as barring the birthing person's partner from the room. Gaskin took a different approach. Hers was one of nurturing the person throughout pregnancy and creating a safe yet welcoming and loving environment to give birth in. But most importantly, she strived to eliminate fear from birth. So, let's talk about one reason why her philosophy works. But first, it's important to understand the science of giving birth. Three of the main components of childbirth are the uterus, the cervix, and hormones. When giving birth, the uterus contracts and pushes the baby down towards the cervix. One of the hormones that causes these contractions is oxytocin, commonly referred to as the love hormone. Oxytocin is one of the four feel-good hormones, and it is vital to have healthy amounts of oxytocin while giving birth. It is also important for lactation, delivery of the placenta, and to help prevent postpartum hemorrhaging, which is heavy bleeding after delivery. During birth, the baby pushes on the cervix of the birthing person, and that pressure sends messages through nerves to the brain to release oxytocin into the bloodstream. Oxytocin can also be produced by feeling intense love and security. Cuddling, massage, massages with a loved one, and intercourse can all increase oxytocin levels. What does not enhance oxytocin levels is the bright lights, leg straps, and sterile environments of the hospital. Now, this is not to say that hospitals are a bad place to give birth in, but there are drawbacks. Here is where midwives come into play again. Ina Mae Gaskin encourages couples to bond, creates a fear-free environment, and even encourages sex during labor, all of which build oxytocin levels in the birthing person. The statistics show that now unconventional environment of a home birth or midwife-assisted birth can lead to better outcomes because of increased oxytocin levels. Ina Mae Gaskin's practice has had 1.7% of births complicated by postpartum hemorrhage, whereas the national statistic is 4.3%. People generally think that the hospital is the safest place to give birth in, but now that there are highly trained midwives available and midwives that emphasize fostering oxytocin levels, it is important to consider other options. Midwifery is a quickly evolving career and midwives deserve more recognition for their life-saving work. Thank you.